In this lesson, we'll use voids to create openings and spaces within our block model. So let's get started. Okay, so now that we have the basic form in place, let's kind of go around and look in a couple of views to make sure everything is lined up correctly with our reference planes. I can see I need to make a small adjustment in this area. So I'm simply going to click on this void here and click and drag and let it snap into place there onto that reference plane. We'll adjust this one here because we don't want any gaps. We want to have nice clean lines throughout this design. So it looks like everything else is looking good here in the front. Uh, let's take the same approach to what's going on on top. So I see we definitely set another plane to allow for thickness in the back, but I think we should extrude uh, these voids back. Um, that way, whenever we're creating the voids or additional voids within these spaces, we can stop them at this point here to allow for that thickness. So let's simply just click on those and drag them all the way back here. Really easy process here. And this will definitely let us allow for that thickness for that backboard on our design here. And it's good we already set that reference plane. Okay, so I'm liking how everything's looking here. Everything looks, dimensions are good. Everything's lining up, no gaps. So we can actually start using voids now. So let's go to uh, the front view. And we'll start here with our first section, our three foot section here. So with this design, um, I'm trying to keep everything vertically, all the spacing within these six inch increments. So it's good I extended all these work planes past our extents here because I can now use these as reference planes uh, for the rest of my design. So with this one, I know the top area here is going to be some storage or a compartment and the bottom here is going to be an area for, you know, maybe something larger, maybe some equipment that can be covered up with some glass doors. And I'm going to use these lines to help me get that done. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm simply going to drag it all the way across. Again, trying to go way past my extents because I may want to erase this line later on. Now, before actually starting the model, I made a couple of design decisions, and one of them was the thickness of my wood. Um, just for ease and working with numbers and doing math, um, I simply went with one inch thick wood. Um, so we'll keep that going throughout this entire design. So what we now need to do is set our reference planes that will help us create our voids while, keeping, uh, while paying attention to the thickness of the wood. So let's create some reference planes, and let's offset those about an inch. So we'll Pick line, we'll offset an inch here. And I know that these sides are going to have a thickness. And I'm going to click. And again, we're going to make sure we drag those past the extent so we can erase later on. We can do the same thing all the way around here. And this will actually be the approach we take working with the entire model. So I'm simply going to click and drag my extents way past where I know I can grab them. Now, in this top section here, I know it's simply going to be a simple piece of wood here. It's not going to be uh, an inch on top of this line and an inch here. It's simply going to be a one inch piece of wood separating it. So I'm just going to select that as an offset. We'll do the same for the bottom. And we can now start modeling in our void. So to do that, I'm going to go to create again and we're going to go to our void forms. We have a number of choices here. We're going to go with void extrusion. And just like when we were creating our solid forms, we're going to take the same approach when drawing out our voids. So I'm going to go with the rectangle tool and we'll start here at the top. Actually, let's go at the bottom here, this larger opening. So we'll click, drag from one corner to the next, and you can see we've got a nice thickness here around the edge for our wood. And again, you want to do this, uh, you could actually do this a couple of pieces at a time. Since they're not going to be, the lines won't be touching or intersecting, they're actually separated by that thickness of that wood. So this will cut down in the time uh, that we're creating these voids, It'll make it a lot easier than creating the extrusions we were making earlier. So I can do two at a time in this case. So I got one here on the top, one on the bottom. Green check mark. Let's go to 3D view to see if there's any adjustments. Yep, a few adjustments we need to make. So I'm going to go to floor plan view. Similar process to when we were creating the extrusion. So we're going to click on that void and simply click and drag to that work plane associated with the thickness of our model. So 3D view, and you can see we've created our first section here. So let's take the same approach and let's finish out the rest of this model using the void and some reference planes. So we'll jump to the front and we're going to hit our second section here. This one also has uh, two uh, areas here, a top and a bottom as well. So we'll create an, another work plane with an offset of, or reference plane with an offset of an inch. And we'll do it from the top here. Clicking and dragging beyond my extents. 
See, we need one on the side here. We'll do the same thing there. And it looks like we need one for the bottom as well. And we are now ready. We're just about ready to model. Let's do one for this side here too. It's going to be a double thickness on this side. All right. So now we're ready to model in the voids for our second section. So what we'll do is we'll go, I'm going to hit escape to get out of my reference plane command. And we'll go to create, void form, void extrusion. And we're going to use our reference planes and simply trace that in there. Perfect. Very easy. Green check mark. Let's go ahead and jump to our floor plan view and let's click as needed. Now I think we just need to do it one time since we made those all in one hit. When we click and drag and adjust, both of those forms will actually be adjusted. Saves us a little bit of time. It all adds up. Okay, so let's do the same with our smaller compartment. So we'll go back to the face or the front and we'll set a couple more references. So we'll go to create reference plane, select line, one inch offset, we'll do the top, drag the end point, we'll do the side, drag the end point, and we'll do the same for the bottom. Thank goodness this is a larger component here on the bottom, it's going to save me some time on modeling. So I think we're, we'll do the same thing for this side and we'll click and drag and now let's create our voids real quick. All right, so create, void, void extrusion. We'll select the face we want to work with. Go with the rectangle tool. Looks like a little extraneous line here. Let me click on this guy, X him out, and get rid of that. I don't want any warning signs later. All right, so now we go rectangle tool. Simply place that one. We'll keep this process going. Perfect. And we'll jump to the floor plan view once again make any adjustments as needed and we are set so this is the process you'd actually go through to finish out this entire face um, so in the next lesson we'll begin creating some faces for our drawer doors and we'll also create some a set of glass doors as well for our first entertainment section here